At this point I'm assuming you watched the other tutorials about how to save and sort of the overview of GIMP, all these different windows. I want to show you two tools today and first of all let's make a new image. I'm going to click new in the file menu. It's going to ask me a size. I like to use 640 by 480 and I will click OK. It gives me a blank image to start with. I'm going to start with the paintbrush tool because it's probably the most obvious thing you would use in a paint program. You can pick your color here, either the foreground color or the background color. If you click this, it'll open up a palette, and then you can choose your colors. I'm just going to use black for right now. And an important thing here is the size of your brush. So I'm going to pick that one. And you notice when I pick that, I can just write or draw as usual. I'm just using a mouse so this isn't very good. Kind of rough. Here's a nice thing about GIMP. The line tool and the paintbrush tool are combined. In fact, all you have to do to make perfectly straight lines in GIMP is you can click down where you want the line to start. So I just did a click. It makes a single dot. And then if I hold down shift, notice it makes a guideline and I can put the end where I want it. Then I click again one time and I get a straight line perfectly straight line holding down shift again and clicking and what's nice about this is it remembers that last part that last point right there and that will be the starting point for another line so you can see I'm holding down shift again and it will basically connect my lines so I hold down shift and I click hold down shift and click it'll let you draw shapes that are connected I think that's a nice touch I use undo a lot when I'm using GIMP or any art program, but rather than go up here, I'm just going to do control Z. Control Z will undo the last thing you did. I'm going to get rid of those. And I want to show you the clone tool. This is the clone tool. I'm going to make the brush a little bigger for this example. Now to understand what's happening on the clone tool, you had to think that there's going to be a target over here, which I'm going to start on the left and then I'm actually going to be drawing over here in this space on the right and what we're going to do is we're going to clone this letter A so here's how I'm going to do this first of all you have to tell it where to start the target and you do that by holding down the control key so I'm holding down control notice it turned into kind of a target and I'm going to click right there and it made a target now when I draw over here on the right it is going to draw whatever that target is touching and as I move over here on the right, it will follow along with the target and it will trace this letter A. I'm going to click down right now and notice that the target and my brush is moving. So whenever the target gets to the letter A, my brush starts making the letter A. I'm going to clone that whole letter, that leg, and that leg. Now, if you let your mouse button up, Notice that target went right back to the beginning. So what happens now is if I click down again, I can clone another A down here. And you could do this repeatedly. So every time you let that mouse button up, the target returns back to where it was. So if I want another A right here, I can trace it again. So remember that the clone tool copies whatever the target's touching to the place where your brush is. Now my, why would you use this? Well here's one way that you will use it when you're editing pictures. I'm going to go to uh, Picks for Learning which we used last week and I found this picture of a drum. I want to show you what you're going to do in the assignment today. So uh, when you find a picture at Picks for Learning right click on it and copy it and you're going to go to Word. We're going to put our pictures in Word today so that you can turn them in easily in one document. First thing I'm going to do in Word is paste this just so that it's in Word and you'll see why that's there in a minute. I'm going to go back to GIMP and I'm going to go to Edit. I'm going to say Paste as New Image. In other words, it's going to take whatever I copied and it's going to make it a new image. And we'll wait for it because this is a rather large image. Notice my zoom is at 
I'm going to actually go up to 50% so we can see this a little better. Now watch what the clone tool can do for changing graphics. This is kind of a nice trick. So I got the clone tool selected. I'm going to stamp the target down over here. Actually going to make my brush a little bigger. And I'm going to change the scale too. I'm going to stamp clone tool down here for the target. So the target is in this background and I'm going to draw over this drumstick. Notice that what happens, the effect is as the target is copying that section of the ground I can actually remove that drumstick right from the picture. This could come in handy if you want to remove a certain person from a picture that you took. Okay, I'm going to stamp the target down there and remove this part. Sometimes you'll notice that the background isn't matching just right and you can kind of see where you've been drawing. So you, it helps to stamp the target real close to where you're drawing. So I'm going to remove the rest of this handle. And maybe one more time I'm going to stamp the target down there. And remove this. If you look at this, zoomed back now, it's very hard to tell that there was originally something in the picture holding that drum up. And I did that quickly. Uh, if you take your time on pictures, you can make this virtually invisible. I'm going to go up to Edit. I'm going to say Copy. I'm going to go back to my Word document. And what I'm going to do is paste this one underneath it so that your teacher, when you turn this in, you're going to turn in the Word document. So your teacher would be able to see the original picture and the changed version. Now in the assignment, read the directions carefully because it's going to tell you how much you have to change in the pictures.